deserve dealing with this kind of act. You know, guys, like, why are you worried about my dreams? I let you just worry about your ch your child. That is all you literally have to worry about is your child. Anything that I do with my life, my career, my business, whatever, whatever that you that has recently been put on blast for giving her her kids up to the fire department, which is in contact with child services, um, pro child protection services, CPS. She was going through a lot, mentally overwhelmed, and she decided to give her kids up. So everyone is going viral on this, talking about, you know, she's wrong for this and she could have did better by being a mother. Um, the part that got me was, it's like you, if you really watch her videos, you can see like she was really trying, but it's so many things that can take your mind. So many men out here that can take your mind. These, these, she, she wanted to, you know, it's, it's, it's more about the, the child's father as well. Because the child's father was so focused on who she was around and what she was doing that she ba he basically used this to hold her down. So it's like being strapped down and being chained down and you can't really do too much. You know, how can we do what we need to do as mothers if you're holding us down because you're feeling some type of way about our life and our lifestyle? You're so focused on holding us down our whole lives because we are attached to you because we have our child by you so now we can't do much you know we can't do much of anything but do right by your kids because that's how that's how man is you know they're very very controlling whether you're with this this your child your child's father or not they're very, very controlling about the issue. And I feel like that's why they, that's why marriage is important. When you want to, when you, when you, you know, just future reference for like my daughter, I will say this to her for my son. I will say this to him. When you have a child by someone, make sure you marry that person. And maybe this is the very reason, you know, we go through what we go through because we chose not to abide by that law in the bible you know don't marry a woman unless i mean don't have a child by a woman unless you marry her don't have a child by uh, this man unless you're you're planning on marrying him because it soul ties are real you know you have a child by this man and you don't think you're not going to be, you know, strung along by this man because, you know, it's it's just a child. You know, I just have a child with him. It's not like we about to spend our whole lives together or he has no control over me. It, you might as well be married to this man because regardless of what you think, this man is going to try the best he can to control that situation with you especially if he's not over you and even if he's not over you that's the thing even if he's not over you i mean even if he's over you it's going to be the same game because they are men are greedy they want nothing more than to hold you down they want nothing more for you not, they don't want to see you happy with no other man period if you have a child by this man, he he doesn't want you to be happy if he's not in the picture. You know, so maybe that's where it needs to change. Where is the man out here that just don't care about, you know, that don't care about the woman? More so about his kids. That's the thing. That's what you, what, what, they, what we need is a man that's not going to care about the woman as much. And just the kids, we understand that you have, you've gotten these feelings for us. But at the same time, you need to allow this woman to be free. You know, and that's where I feel like God gets in the midst of that. You know, this, that's what this woman needs. I feel like she needs to turn a guy. And I was, I was watching this one. Lady, and she was talking about how 
she tired of people, religious people telling them what to do. But at the same time, religious people have a point. If you don't allow God to get in the middle of your life with this man, this man is going by, is playing by the role of a narcissist. That's what they're doing. These men are playing. They're they they are the puppets of a narcissist because for one, if this man is no godly man, he's he's a puppet of a narcissist. So therefore, please just allow allow God into your life and allow God to make those decisions for you. And if that's what I'm saying, she like I said, I don't know her lifestyle. She may already have God in her life, and this is what God instructed her to do. So therefore, whatever choice she's she's making, that's between her and God. Period. You know. You got to be in somebody's situation to really understand her lifestyle. If you're not in this this woman's position to understand what she's going through, then please just shut your mouths and and just focus on you. You know, try to think if you you're willing to think outside the box, then maybe, you know, go ahead, but you really can't judge a situation, you know, unless you you've been through it. You can't. <laughs>